Hey everybody, I'm uh, Paul from Legacy Lumber and I'm here with Marco from ActFix. We're going to go through the product line available through our online store as well as available at our factory outlet location in Mississauga. Uh, so this is going to be educational for me as well as for you. So let's go through the product line now. Sure. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, this here is, uh, I guess first up, is our Teflon coated spray foam gun. This thing's used to apply subfloor adhesive, spray foams, anything that's going to have these threads on the top built in, you can screw into this gun. Why this is a unique product, it is Teflon coated on the exterior. Um, the main reason why this has become such a, I guess, large item for us, it's one of the few that's actually Teflon coated on the inside of the barrel. Okay, and that's right. basically so stuff doesn't stick to it. Yeah, yeah. So the pressure valve, you can tell by the trigger if you release the valve a little here. Um, you get a lot more play with it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of guns out there on the market will have just a single dial, so you have you know one, two, three, four, five on the setting. This one you can actually adjust your pressure to be perfect for you. Completely variable, yeah. basically. Yeah. So one of the products that goes with this yep. um, is our 812P. This is the multi-purpose spray foam. This is a low expansion spray foam. Uh, why it's key for the market, I guess, if you're insulating doors or small gaps, um, sometimes when you have a, a large gap being insulated in a wall, you have small cavities built in where your 2 by 4s are a little too close. Right. They'll use this to fill in those gaps. Widely used in window and door. Right, okay. Right. So this is a... It won't like push out the door jam, I guess. No, right? no. So this, what we like to call ours is actually a soft expansion. Soft expansion. Yeah, so what ends up happening, and we've gotten this for a lot of customers that are actually using the product. So we get professional feedback where they find that if they overfill a cavity rather than bowing a window, it actually pushes out. So you get a little bit of overflow because they oversprayed it, but they don't have that issue of bone removal. Sure, little. of course, yeah. Um, that's key with the low expansion foam. What's really unique about this, this is our all season foam, and it's good to minus 12 degrees. So application wise? Application wise, okay. yeah. yeah. So that's something that's a key factor to that. The other side of it is we have a 4.1 per inch R value. Okay. Which is one of the highest in the business. Right, so right. These three foams. Cool. Next up, we have the 800C foam cleaner. Three main purposes for this. One is to clean your foam gun. So this will has the threads that will actually screw on here. Okay. Once it gets in there, you pull your trigger and it'll clean out the barrels inside. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. I always wondered how you would clean yeah. it up. <laughs> that's, that's the trick right there. That's the main trick. Foam cleaner. Cool. So what's nice about this too is there's a, there's a, a tip here that you break Drink off, it. right? You got your cap that comes off. Now this cap is actually built to snap back in. Okay. So you don't have any bleed out. Um, this would come on and now it works almost like an aerosol. Right? So the key to this is if you ever have spillage on the on the tip of the gun or anywhere, you actually spray this and clean it out so you don't have any. So you can clean the outside and inside. And inside. Nice. You can also use this. Now this is this is really good for any of you that are on site. If you ever have any foam spill out, land on the floor, on concrete, on tile. Before it cures, if you get this out and spray it down, it will dissipate the foam before it cures. All okay. right. I'll be honest. I think every site I've been on, I've got a little foam. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that will make two of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But that's where this becomes key. This one, it, it's a, uh, I like to call it a lifesaver at times. Right. Okay. okay. So we got the foam and we got the cleaner. We got the cleaner. So that's kind of a nice little package there. This product here, so this is the Actfix Seal Max. Uh, we are the only company in the world that this product is manufactured for. So we brought this in specifically for the North American market. When it comes to the fluctuation of the heat and the cold. So the hot and the cold weather temperatures throughout the course of the year. Okay. Right now we're in the middle of the winter. Yep. Um, what's key to this product here is it's freeze and thaw stable. So if you forget it in your truck, you can bring it in, thaw it out, and use it again. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, where most products on the market, once they freeze, they go in the garbage. So it's a nice, it's a waste of your money. Right, okay. Right? We have a nice little feature with all our tubes, actually, but this one here has a removable tip. Uh, anybody that's doing trim work or painters, if they find they have larger gaps, they like to have a few different cut sizes on the tips. So they'll have, you know, Multiple three tips. different, yeah, three or four different cut sizes. They'll screw it on. If they get to a larger gap, they take it off, put the new one on. Oh, okay, that's smart, yeah. Um, they're a lot better than I am. I would have never done that. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, I know. Over doing that one spot. 
Um, so with this product, again, it's solvent free. There is no odor to it at all. I was going to say no odor. Yeah, right? no odor. It's solvent free. Okay, good. Yeah, the reason we brought that in actually specifically was for baby's rooms. Came mm -hmm. up when my wife was pregnant, and and that's why we we brought up this product. Okay, uh, works really well. So the no odor thing is very big as well. Um, the other side of it is it's paintable in 25 minutes. Skin's over in about 10 to 15, and it is thicker than most products on the market. So when you're applying it, it won't cave, it won't crack, it stays too form, and it won't shrink. Oh yeah, okay, right? cool. So that's our Seal Max. Next up is one of my favorites, um, the 610 Polyurethane Express Adhesive. Now this is an adhesive that can be used basically anywhere. You can use it on glass, you can use it on wood, you can use it on plastic, metal, rubber. Really, it's endless opportunities. Why this is unique, especially in the woodworking side of things, the product is transparent. So when you have customers building furniture, for example, if they're building a, a coffee table that it's a wood stand with glass, they can actually apply this right where the glass is, and you, you won't see oh, the yeah, okay. in there, right? That's smart. So, It'll press up against the wood, and really you'll only see the wood grain behind it. 15 minute press time, very, very high bond strength, so it'll actually hold up to 70 kilograms per centimeter squared. Oh. So it, it's very powerful. Right. right. Now you hear the rattling at the bottom there. Uh, I noticed uh, that. <laughs> I, wanted, I thought I was leaking something that was trying to be gentle, actually. Yeah, what do we got I've going had on? some weird questions. We need grease guns and all that. This product here specifically works on a regular caulking gun. Okay. Um, the bottom of the can, I don't know if you want to tilt it to the camera so you can see it. It's just like a tuna can, right? So you would pop it open like a tuna can, release it. Inside, there's something called desiccant. So I don't know if you know. Keeping um, it dry. It's keeping it dry. It pulls moisture, the moisture yeah, out. So yeah. for those of you who don't know what desiccant is, if you think about like a window um, in between your two panes of glass, there's beads inside that um, spacer. And that's to draw moisture out of the product. That's why we put that in here. Polyurethane cures with moisture and oxygen. So right. So we have to keep that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What else is nice about that is if you buy a, a tube or a number of tubes, it typically will go past the expiry. Right, okay. Right. I'm going to pull this one out next because sure. it goes along with that one there. So this is our 510 No Nail. The bond strength is a little less than the 610, however, still very powerful. It's fast curing. Um, this one is more of a cream or a tan color. Again, both of these are waterproof. So the 610 is waterproof, the 510 is waterproof as well. Widely used in the construction industry, okay. uh, where the transparency is not really a big factor, they'll probably look to this product. Yeah, okay. Same, right? Yeah. Same properties and all that. The bond strength again, this will hold up to about 60 kilos. So fairly, fairly, fairly close. close. Yeah, yeah, fairly close. They are both very similar in nature. I would say this is just your top level. The transparency yeah. especially yeah. with that one. So the 915 has come a little unique. So this was built for construction, exterior sealant, interior sealant. You can use it in your bathtubs and around your kitchens and all that. Where we found this to be unique is after talking with Mike and yourself, you can actually use these to build dams in woodworking. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's a it's 100% silicone. It's neutral cure. Sure. Um, what's uh, you can use this. What does neutral cure mean? So neutral cure is basically it's going to cure with oxygen and moisture. It's not uh, okay. Nothing real fancy. Nothing it's just special. yeah. It's just its its own unique property. Okay. Like how it cures. Uh, with these, we have multiple colors. There's the chestnut brown, the black, the gray, the white, and then transparent. Um, when you're building the dams, the colors obviously don't really matter. But when it's come for exterior use, if you're using this for windows, doors, any exterior application. Um, flashing anything like that. Yeah, yeah, okay. This stuff here, the elongation is up to 350% and it'll keep 50% flexibility up to minus 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, wow. So yeah, so it'll, you know, this is something that would pretty much outlast the windows. Okay, wow. Yeah, so big one here, 705. So we have two different sizes. I don't know if you want to hold that one up there. So the 705 400 mil and the 200 mil kit. These ones come with so the 400 mil has to do with the aerosols. Comes with a 125 gram glue bottle, which is a cyanoacrylate glue, and this one is 65 gram. He's got it right, 65. Right. Funny enough, I, I always thought this was a kind of a small thing, but this little bracket here, 
I, I always ask everybody, it's like, how many times do you go to your toolbox oh, looking you for it and it's rolled around? You find separately? this one or you find that one. Exactly. And you find them both. Exactly. So it's a little thing, but you know, it goes a long way on the site. Definitely. You can find it. It holds them together. You know exactly where it is. Uh, we have some people that actually in their truck beds have put magnets on the inside and they hang it. Okay. So it's never lost. It's never lost. Never loose. Right. This will bond metal. It'll bond glass. It'll bond plastic, wood, and the. Uh, it's used very, very widely in trim and woodwork. Right, yeah, we um, use it all the time in, in uh, jig making. I mentioned yeah. it the other day. Yeah. Uh, I was used to kind of screwing and gluing and waiting, although uh, basically you can do a jig in a matter of minutes, yeah. really, which yeah. is really nice so you can keep moving along with your work. Yeah. yeah. What's unique about ours as well, so we've been ranked um, 27 out of 27 third-party tests, and this is through Instagrammers and others. Oh, wow, okay. The strongest on the market for the bond. Nice. Um, what's unique with ours is all of the brands you can use the glue without it, but the bond strength is fairly weak. Ours, you can actually bond any one of these products in a couple of minutes without the accelerator. Oh, wow. So if the accelerator of 5 to 20 seconds is too quick of a bond for the work you're doing, you can use the glue, and it's basically like a super glue on steroids. Mm -hmm. Very high bond strength and very quick bond. Polyurethane glue. This is our PA360. We put marine adhesive on here. Now one of the things that does get confusing with that is it's not just for marine use. Right, right. So you can use it to build docks, you can use it to build basically anything. Yeah, outdoor gates, yep. uh, anything outdoor. Anything outdoor. So this is your highest waterproof rating you're going to get. Okay. Um, because it's polyurethane, naturally it's waterproof. Uh, it's used, again, woodworking. We see it a lot with marine use when it comes to boats and docks. Like that, decks. A lot of people are using it um, in their joints. Okay. What's unique about it? Now, this is something where it's got a little bit of foaming action. Nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, right. <laughs> so the foam itself, it'll happen. It's got a short um, open time. So once you apply the glue, it's good to bond it within 10 minutes. Okay. Otherwise, you'll start to see foam come out. What's nice about that? It's sandable. It's stainable. It's paintable. You can chisel it off, scrape it off very easily. Yeah, just let it harden basically, and yeah. then deal with it. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's what exactly. I've heard. Sometimes, if you never used it, it's a little bit of a panic. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's just a bit of a learning curve to exactly. understand the the squeeze out of the foam exactly. and all that. Yeah. And it's got a very high bond strength. Right. So yeah. Super strong. So I should say on the market, for everybody looking for uh, volume and all that, this bottle is. A lot more volume okay. and higher bonding strength than anybody else that has a polyurethane glue on the market right now. There you go. Okay. So, I'm going to pick up our D2 here. Yeah, nice. So, the D2 is good for woodworking. Um, it's a higher viscosity than most of our competitors' products. So, I know you've said no drip and less mess yeah. and all that, and that's kind of the terms we use as well. Sure. Um, it's something that it applies white and it dries clear. That's right. right? So, this one is a water resistant. It's not, it's something more for interior use. So if you're using a woodworking, on trim, if you're building a table, it still works. Yeah. Um, don't use it on anything you're building like patio furniture with. Out of wood. Right, right, right. The D3, the big buds. Yeah, <laughs> this, is our, this is our main glue. So this is something, I mean, when I came to you, got you that sample, and yeah. I, I know you love the product too, but one of the things that, uh, or a few of the things we've been told by a lot of the woodworkers out there, and trim workers, this product, what everybody loves, it applies white, so you can see exactly where you've applied in mm -hmm. a certain application, but it'll dry clear. So it doesn't matter, you know, sometimes you'll get a glue that's like a cream color or something like that, Yeah. and it shows yeah. when you put your final stain on or any final finish. Right? Sure, sure, right. Um, we have these unique features, I don't know if you can see them in the image there, but it's a finger grip. So when you're holding your bottle, it's almost like a glue bottle. You can do like all the same gluing? Yeah. <laughs> what you'll love about this too, 10 to 15 minute open time. Okay. So it is very quick. It sands very easily. One of the things you were telling me that you guys liked about it in the shop is when you bonded a couple pieces together, you get a little bit of ridge typically. This one sands very easily. It did, yeah, definitely. Right? So definitely. those are a lot of the key features to this product. Okay. Right? Yeah, we didn't give it like the uh, scientific test, but we did yeah. the hammer test. Up in the hammer. We have um, two different epoxies. We have the one package right here right now, but we have the E300. Now this is a waterproof epoxy. 
Okay. Uh, it's a 20 minute set time, and the E300 itself was made for anything that's submerged underwater. It can be used in other applications. So let's say, for example, you have a swimming pool. So we have a bunch of companies that use this in the pool repair industry or okay. installation. If you have your filter or the gasket come loose, it's always submerged underwater. Yeah, right. Typically, you've had to drain out the pool a little, get below that level, glue it up, and then come back the next day once it's cured, and then you can fill up your water. With this here, you don't have to drain any water. You can apply it right underwater on the gasket, paste it in, and you're finished. Cool. Wow. So we have a feature here where, I don't know if you can catch it there in the picture, but it has a mixing tray built right in. And then you've got your stick inside the package here. So with both pieces, it'll, with the syringe, it'll yeah, equal push amounts, them both right? out, yeah. equal amounts. And all you're going to do is grab your stick, mix it up, and then you can pour it in or scrape it in if it's a little gap. Yeah, right. Right? Similar with the E340. Now, the E340 is our quick setting epoxy. It's five minute cure time. Okay. Yeah. Or setup time. Sorry. That's kind of our time. next common epoxy that we use. Yeah. We use a five yeah. minute. That's the one you would see more commonly in the woodwork. Yeah. Design. Yeah. Smaller defects yep. type thing. Yeah. And the package exactly the same. You're going to have the mixing tray, the stick inside. And again, the only difference is going to be it sets up in five minutes rather than 20. Yeah. Right. right. So, silicone lubricant. Uh, this product is. Um, I guess unique in my mind in the sense that we just brought this into the market about a year ago. And it, it was for some companies using it on machinery. Okay. Um, they wanted a silicone lubricant that worked. The brand they had they really liked, but they wanted to test ours. Uh, we brought it in as kind of a small test market to see, and it exploded. Everybody that started trying it loved it. They loved the fact that um, you can spray it on anything chains. Um, machinery, we have companies that use it on their saws. The big one now is even in windows and doors, um, we mentioned that with the foam and all that, sliders and double hung windows. The company's installing it or for maintenance as well. If you need to maintain those windows, they spray it in the jams or on the tracks, the, right. on the sills and all that, and it'll actually give you a better glide on that one. Yeah, really slippery stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. So it's nice because uh, this is actually non, so, <laughs> excuse me, it's non-toxic non-corrosive. So you could spray this um, even anywhere that's rusting to lubricate it. And, and that's kind of your main uses for that product. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, you know, I'd use this underneath the table saw, keep the gears yep. all lubed up. So this one here, similar to what the E80 does, it's a silicone lubricant. This one here is silicone free. Now why you would use this, it's a corrosion inhibitor. When you have rust or you need to loosen up some bolts or anything like that, you can use this as well. Okay. The silicone free side of it, why that's important, I, I usually mention this to woodworkers or anybody that's using it on the machinery and their saws. Silicone works very well. Mm -hmm. um, being silicone free, this product will work just as well as a silicone based product. The difference is silicone's an adhesive. So any dust particles or little shards or shreds that are coming off are going to stick to it. Sure, right. So you're spraying that more frequently. This one you spray a lot less frequently, so you get a lot more frequent line. Okay. Um, but you can use it again, going down to pipe chains, you can use it on your door jams in a car, you can use it anywhere. Your saws, your drills, your machinery, CNC machines. Sure. That's where the main use is going to be. Yeah, so you're saying with this one here, the dust would kind of stick to it, yeah. or this one... This one, not so much. Not so much, yeah, 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 yeah. right. I want to thank Marco thank for you. coming by. Thanks for and having me. And giving us a description of all the products. Uh, we look forward to you guys trying the products out, and let us know how they work for you.